Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, so, so question two on our sequence and series examples um, in geometric sequences. So a ball is dropped from a height of 27 metres and loses two thirds of its height height on each bounce. Part one, find the height of the ball on each of the first four bounces. Two, write down the height of the ball after the 10th bounce. After which bounce will the ball be at most 2.5 metres above the ground? Okay, so let's have a look at this one. So the way I see it, a ball is dropped, so it's been suspended at a height. It's then dropped and then it starts to bounce. And of course, the bounces get smaller and will eventually peter out, okay? So that would be my first term, my second term, my third term, my fourth term, and so on. Okay, because the pattern or the, the pattern or, or the sequence will be on the bounces. So my first term, T1, is 27 it loses two thirds of its height. So therefore it only has one third of its height left. So nine meters. Okay, so it loses two thirds. So it only has one, nine, one third left. So nine meters. T2 would be that nine meters. It'll only have, it'll lose two thirds of its height. So it'll only have one left. So it'll be three. T3 will be take that three meters and it will lose two thirds. So we're down to one meter. And then T4, take that one meter. It'll only have a third left. And so we are down to a third meter. Okay, so find the height of the ball on the first three bounces. So I have nine comma three comma one comma a third. Okay, so that's part one. Part two, um, hence write down the height of the, bounce, the ball on the 10th bounce. Okay, nothing stopping you working out T5, T6, T7, T8, T9, and eventually T10, and figuring out what height it will be on the 10th bounce. Okay, um, or you can look out for a, for a pattern. So in my first one, T1, it was 27 multiplied by a third. My second one, it was 27 by a third. That's my T1 multiplied by a third again, okay? Or 27 by a third squared. T3, is 27 by a third squared, multiply by a third again. So it'll be 27 by a third cubed. In other words, I'm looking at my original one and I'm seeing what am I doing to it. So that's how I got my nine for my first one. I then took my nine and got a third of it again. I then took my three and I got a third of it again. Okay, so why am I doing it this way in green? Well, I'm trying to tie the end number to what I'm actually doing. There's my end number again to a power, the end number to a power. Okay, so therefore by the same pattern, T10 would be equal to take that 27 and reduce it down by a third 10 times. That's what that means. Okay, take the 27 and reduce it down by a third 10 times. Just like when I got, for example, T2, I took the 27 and I reduced it down by a third two times. Once to get nine and the second time to get three. Okay, so T10 therefore is equal to 27 multiplied by a third to the power of 10. Let me put that in my calculator. 
a third to the power of 10. And I've got 1 over 2187. Yeah, and it's a small decimal number. Okay, so that's my T10. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So like I said, if, if you can't see this, that's okay. Just multiply him by a third for T5 and keep multiplying by a third until you get to T10. Okay, uh, part three. After which bounce will the ball be at most 2.5 meters above the ground? Okay, well, there's two ways of doing this. Let, let, me, let me do it with this first. And um, yeah, let me do it. Let me do it two ways. I'll do it the non-maths way first, which is literally looking at your answers. So it needs to be at most two meters. So I'm looking at my terms that I wrote out in my sequence. T1, nine, T2, three, T3 is one, okay? So after which bounce will the ball be at most 1.5 meters or 2.5 meters? Well, even after the second bounce, it's still too high. So it's going to take the third bounce before it will be at most 2.5 meters. Okay, so after the third bounce, it will be at most 2.5 meters. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. All I did was just look at the values and you can see where it is at most 2.5 meters. Okay, mathematically though, how would we work that out? Okay, well, we're basically saying when is 27 by a third to the power of n equal to 2.5 meters, okay? And I'll do equals to first and I'll find out the exact n number that gives me 2.5 meters and then I'll solve it. So basically I'm just working out the, I suppose the formula that we got for the, um, for the sequence. Okay, so let's divide across by 27. So I am getting 2.5 over 27. So five over 54. So I'm getting a third in is equal to five over 54. Okay, um, so there's numerous ways of, of doing this. Um, you can get the log of both sides. You can get the ln of both sides. Basically, you can use any log you want as long as what you do to one side, you do to the other. Okay, that would be very important. So the typical one that's used in schools is ln. Okay, so take ln of both sides. So if I get ln of a third to the power of n equals ln of five over 54. Okay, now, like I said, it, it actually doesn't matter which log you use here. And, and remember, always remember, ln is log to the base e. Okay, the reason we use the log is when you get the log of a number, when what you need is in the power, you are going to be using logs. That's how we get at powers. Because can you see there that when I take the log of a number, I can then bring that um, what's in the power down in front, okay? In other words, I can now write this left-hand side as n ln of a third. OK, and that's the only reason I, I, I took logs of both sides so that I could get at this power here. OK, um, and it's using that Q rule or K rule is a K rule, as I call it, Q rule. Yeah. OK, a log of a number to a power, you are allowed to take the power down in front. 
Okay, that's what's on the, the right hand side. Um, and then of course I would solve it for n then. So in other words, divide both sides by ln of a third so that it cancels on that side. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other. Okay, so n is equal to, and you need to put this into your calculator. So hit your fraction button, ln of five over 54, close my bracket, and then under the line, ln again of a third, close your bracket. And I am getting n being equal to 2.165 or 2.17. Okay, so in exactly 2.17 bounces, if such thing could exist, you would be at a height of 2.5 meters. Okay, so if you need to be at most 2.5, then you're going to have to complete that bounce and so at most 2.5 meters, you're going to have to complete that bounce and go for the third one so that you end up under the 2.5 meters. OK, so you either see the answer or you can work out the answer. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.